Hi, Kumon families. It's Miss Amber. I'm coming to you today with level C, multiplying and dividing. This video is on multiplication. It's what is the precursor for division, of course. We have to learn multiplication before we can learn the reverse of that, which is division. And the initial goal in level C is to memorize times tables. We send home blue note cards that um, are on a ring. One side has blank multiplication tables and the other side has populated answers for the multiplication tables. The way that we memorize our tables is by saying the whole fact. Four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12. And so those flashcards should be really helpful. Um, in the very beginning of level C, the goal is just lots of practice and automaticity on understanding and producing those math facts really quickly. In fact, the SCT, the standard completion time on level C is actually right here. I have a note about it. It's about two to three to three to four minutes per page in level C. So if you do five pages, then you're looking at 10 to 15 minutes is the goal. Eventually, once you practice and get it, you know, real quick, real memorized um, on the harder packets, it's about three to four minutes per page, which if you're doing five pages, that would be 15 to 20 minutes. Of course, if you're doing 10 page packets, it would be 20 to 30 minutes for all 10 pages or 30 to 40, depending on the packet. If you have questions on the specific packet, you can always ask or check out the charts in the classroom. And the first thing I want to talk about is the multiplication in level C. This is the way that some of the packets look. And just like I mentioned a minute ago, we want to say the whole table. And then there's a box um, that we are going to check after we've read all of them. So the way that sounds is four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12, four times four is six, teen, sorry, <laughs> four times five is 20, four times six is 24, four times seven is 28, four times eight is 32, four times nine is 36, four times 10 is 40. So I'm going to check the box. And then what I want you to do I want you to read it actually, see how it says five times. I want you to read it five times. So I don't want you to just read it once and check it once. I want you to read it once and check it once. And then I want to see your one, two, three, four, five tally marks for all the five different times that you've read it aloud. Saying it aloud is going to help you solidify and memorize it. And then once the um, times tables are memorized, that's the first 50 pages of the level, we go into two times one digit multiplication. So I'm gonna demonstrate how we do that here. You guys have learned that in level B, we try to do our math mentally. We try to not write carries or borrows. It's the same in level C, no different. Um, the general thought is we want you to practice writing it without the carries. Um, at least try it for, you know, 20, 30, 40 pages. And um, just exercising that mental math ability is super helpful, especially for Kumon long term. So... Um, we're going to look at this first problem right here, 12 times 4. We do this digit by digit, so 4 times 2 is going to be 8, and then 4 times 1 is going to be 4, so our answer is going to be 48. Um, we can look at this and practice the way we did in level B, where we do it left to right, and the way we would do that is just 4 times 2 is 8, so I'm going to hold that in my brain. 4 times 1 is 4, so I'm going to write left to right 48. It's solving it the same way. It's just a different way of writing it down. We're not writing the one first. I'm writing the tens first. So over here on the next problem, 16 times 7, 6 times 7 is 42. I'm going to carry a 4. That's going to make this 11. And I put the 2 down here. So if we were going to write our carries initially, um, before we get used to this, we go 4 times, sorry, 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4, 11. So 112, um, 25 times nine, I'm gonna do this one more mentally. Nine times two is uh, 18 and I have a four that I bar I carried from my 45. So 18 and four is gonna be 22 and then nine times five is 45. So I put my, my five there, two, 225. On this one, three digits, we can also work on doing this mentally. I'm going to think through the whole problem first. Six times three is 18. I'm going to carry a one. Six times two is 12. I'm also going to carry one over there. So first I'm going to do six times one plus my carry. That's going to be seven. Over here I had 12 plus one. So that was 13. I put the one here and I carry the three. And then six times three is 18 plus the three. That didn't work out at all. <laughs> 
My one I carried. Oh, I see. Okay. Six times two is 12 plus the one was 13. So the three goes here. My other digit goes here. There we go. And then my three times six is 18. So sometimes with three digits, maybe it's easier to write the steps. <laughs> I think I just demonstrated that for y'all. Um, eight times seven, 56. Eight times five, 40 plus the five, 456. This one is nice. There's no carries on this one. This one is easier to do left to right. 21 and then six. And then down here we have, oh, that is all we have. I thought we had some more three digits, but that was all. Um, so again, we're working on memorizing the times tables and then we're doing two, two and three digit times one digit multiplication. So this is a short multiplication. This, um, we don't have any like two rows that we're adding that comes in level D where long multiplication is. So thank you guys for watching.